Matt's first English banana challenge. You need a banana, stopwatch and sellotape. Peel the banana and split it into four parts. You now have 30 seconds using all the cell tape and no help to put the banana back together and put it in skin. Students will judge which department does the best job at repairing the damage. Okay, go. This challenge wasn't really about the banana. You see, no matter how hard we try, we can never fully repair the damage that's been done. The banana is a symbol of the words we use. We can say sorry, but we cannot ever fully reverse the damage our words can do. We can't take back what has been said. We can't stand the sound of her voice. Miss, do you not think your nails need doing again? Who does she think she is? She's a rat. Does she ever shut up? I wish I was in another teacher's class. Why is she never off? I hate her. I can't stand her, me. Her accent is disgusting. Miss, why is your voice so high pitched? What's up with you? Can you not control the class? Why should I listen to you? What is she wearing? Miss always wears that top on a Friday. Can you even teach? You're a rubbish mass teacher. Why can't you just get some new clothes? Why is she never off? These are all comments that we have heard about this at school. Why is it that we remember the hurtful comments so much more clearly than the positive ones? Language has a real power. We can use it to build each other up or cause real harm. This week we challenge you to use your words for good. Your home learning challenge this week is to use your words and to make a difference, to have a positive impact on someone. Reflect on how doing this made you feel. And how you think that positive comment made them feel. While the damaged words may be forgiven, these will not be forgotten. Your words have real power. Use them wisely. Be kind always.